Hey YouTube, how are you? It's Money Minded Michelle and I'm back with another video. If you are new here, welcome. I hope you like what you see. You stay and subscribe and decide to become a part of the Money Minded Tribe. And for my returning subscribers, welcome back my friends. As always, it's a pleasure to have you. So the theme of today's video is a Dollar Tree haul. I'm going to call this one a small but mighty, but with some really solid finds. So why don't we go ahead and jump right in? And to begin with, hmm, let's start with food. I've got an awful lot of food. I feel like the last haul I did had some uh, had quite a few grocery items. Also, um, I re-upped on the guaca chips. You guys, these are delicious by El Sabroso. This is one of those things that Jacob and I bought thinking there's no way it could be good. They're actually delicious. So when they come around in the Dollar Tree, I like to keep a bag or two on hand. This is a really nice size. You get for the money five ounces of chips, which you know at a regular grocery store, chips are crazy expensive. So why not stock up at the Dollar Tree when they have ones you like, right? Set these down here. Um, I found Markdown and I just decided to go for it. This uh, for... Okay, it's weird. It was marked down to $1.50. This is a $5 item. This is from the plus section originally. They marked it down to $1.50. It really should have been $1.25. It really should have been a penny if you ask me at this point, but I picked up one of these Funfetti uh, sugar cookie house kits. I don't know. I just thought it would be kind of fun to be a fun little uh, craft project for Hugo and myself. Um, it comes with interlocking cookie pieces as well as pre-made icing. So I figure that should make this relatively goof proof. Now, I mean, um, being someone who does not celebrate Christmas personally, I haven't done very many, if ever, I'm trying to think if I ever made a gingerbread house, maybe not on my own. I might've helped decorate a gingerbread house when I was a kid, you know, visiting a friend's family, that kind of thing. But, um, I don't know. I just thought this would be a lot of fun and I'd pick up some, maybe some little Valentine's colored candies and maybe we can make like a little Valentine's craft together just for the heck of it. Cause why not? You know, super cheap. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> and then also from the food section, I picked up um, for Hugo, you know, sometimes he runs out of creamer and he said, you know, I wish I had like shelf stable creamer. Well, Dollar Tree provides and they had this by Marcel's Modern Pantry, the hazelnut flavor. This is a lactose free shelf stable coffee creamer. Now, after you open this, you should refrigerate it. But this is a nice thing for him to kind of keep in his own little uh, his own little stash in his own little coffee bar at home. So I grabbed one of these in the hazelnut, and I also grabbed one in French vanilla. But that's that'll be a nice addition, and just to kind of keep on hand, you know, for just in case, because um, I myself am not a coffee drinker, but I know for folks who are who really like these flavored creamers, not having them is a travesty. Ask my mom about that. God forbid she ran, runs out of creamer. In fact, now that I think about it, maybe I should grab her a couple of these just to keep on hand, just in case, you know, just in case. That's not a bad idea. I think I will do that. Anyhow, let me put these down here. And then, um, not exactly food, but food-ish related, health and beauty, whatever you want to call it. I picked up these vitamin C drops from Free Gels, the Free Gels uh, label. Uh, you get 30 of the vitamin C drops. They also carry the Halls version of this, but you only get 15 drops. So for $1.25, why not get twice as much? I'm sure they taste similarly. Uh, two of these vitamin C drops will give you the vitamin C, your daily required amount of vitamin C. So I figured during this season of still colds, flu, and all kinds of stuff going around, it couldn't help to have some extra vitamin C. So I went ahead and grabbed that. And then uh, back to actual food once more. <laughs> I picked up, let's see, you know, for Valentine's Day, uh, for the little, uh, for one of those little red uh, bear jars that I picked up, I picked up Smarties to fill it with. I've got three of these bags of Smarties. You guys, this used to be a bigger bag, I swear. Now you get per bag is 17 rolls of the Smarties, but I swear this used to be a bigger bag and used to get at least 25 rolls, maybe even more. I don't know, do you guys remember what I'm talking about? It was maybe like this much more as far as the size bag. Shrinkflation, <laughs> but nonetheless, I went and picked up three packages of Smarties and then over in the baking area, which I always check the, you know, for baking mixes and that kind of thing, um, especially like uh, Dollar Tree sometimes will get different or special or seasonal items, um, which are really a lot of fun uh, to find at the Dollar Tree for only $1.25. And I found, to begin with this, Betty Crocker Delights Super Moist Party Rainbow Chip Cake Mix. 
for $1.25. That's not a bad deal. I'm trying to think, what did my local grocery chain had? Uh, their regular price on cake mixes is almost $2. So to find this at the Dollar Tree for $1.25, not bad. Sometimes you can do better on a grocery store sale, but you know what I'm finding is that in order to get the sale price, you have to buy a quantity. So yes, you can find this for 99 cents a piece, but you might have to buy four in order to get that price. So I don't have, I don't bake that much. I mean, I like to have baking mixes on hand, especially fun ones like these. Uh, but you know, I don't need necessarily four cake mixes or four brownie mixes at once. But uh, nonetheless, I went ahead and picked this up because I've never seen it before at the Dollar Tree. And so I thought I'd share. I grabbed that. And then I had never seen this before. This is made by Reese's. It is a coffee cake mix. You guys, look how delicious that looks. Now, what's the difference between cake and coffee cake? Is it that uh, with coffee cake, we feel like we can have it for breakfast because it goes with coffee? I don't know. <laughs> but this looks really delicious. It is peanut butter cake mix with mini Reese's peanut butter chips and a brown sugar streusel topping. So you get everything you need to make this peanut butter cake with peanut butter chips and then this crumble topping it looks really delicious. You need one third cup water, one third cup vegetable oil, and two eggs to make this. And I thought this might be fun um, I think I'm going to add some chocolate chips to it because I like chocolate and everything, <laughs> first of all. And second of all, um, the way I make peanut butter a lot more palatable to me. I'm not a big peanut butter person, but with chocolate, that'll be good. So I'm going to add some mini chocolate morsels to this as well. And I think it'll bake up really nice. But I thought that was super cool. That's a new one for me. And then the last item that I found in the baking aisle was um, this Halo Top Strawberry cake mix. Now, even the cashier, even the lady behind me in line said, hold up, is that ice cream? And I said, no. And I showed the lady, I said, look, it's a little cake mix. And here, I'll pop the top to show you guys. There's cellophane on top, but inside is a dry cake mix. You see that? Okay. And pop the top back on real quick. And you are supposed to add three tablespoons of water, mix to blend the, the mix very well, and then you microwave it in this little paper cup and you make one individual cake that is 170 calories. Uh, what else can I tell you about this? Let's see. Dairy Terry fiber is one gram. Total sugar, seven grams. 170 calories and only seven grams of sugar for your own individual strawberry cake. I think this is awesome. I only hope that it tastes good. I bought two, uh, hoping that they taste decent and Jacob and I will have to try these out and I will let you know uh, what we think of these. If they're amazing, I'm going to run out and scoop up more. And see, that's the problem. I was telling the girl in line, I'm like, do you buy two or do you buy 22? She started laughing. She goes, I know that's the problem. You never know if you're going to like something. And then if you don't buy it, then you may never see it again. And all oh, the stress of it all. <laughs> but um, I'm hoping that this is at least good, at least the two that I bought and snagging these at $1.25 a piece. I don't know what exactly they would retail for. I've never seen this in particular, but I've seen like other, I know Kodiak is a brand of um, high protein pancakes. And I know you can buy like an individual pancake in a very similar container where you mix the batter and then microwave it. It makes one big individual high protein pancake. This is by Halo Top. And again, seven grams of sugar, 170 calories. Not bad. If you're watching your sugar, this could be a nice little treat. Pretty cool, right? And then the last food item that I picked up um, is not a, a baking mix of any kind. Uh, that is, I went ahead and got one more bag each of the Pop Daddy pretzels. You guys, these are delicious. These are my two favorite ones. I love the garlic parmesan. These are number one. And then close number two is the cinnamon sugar. There is also a peppercorn ranch out there that it's okay, but it's really not my favorite. And generally speaking, I don't bother buying it because I don't love them that much personally. But you may. Peppercorn ranch in addition to these two. Pop Daddy pretzel flavors. Yum. I love these. They are awesome. And that's all the food. Um, I also picked up, so like now in housewares, I picked up another one of these uh, boxes with the latch and the handle on top. And I'm going to use this for some of my uh, Milk Mocha Bear collectibles. I've talk about, talked about Milk Mocha Bear before. They're a cute little animated bear couple and they're, uh, they're, still cartoons and um, videos, which are available on YouTube, are about their adorable daily life. So I like to collect their merchandise and I needed another box to keep it all contained and tidy. So I went ahead and grabbed one more of those. 
And then I found one package and one only because I would have liked to get more, but this was the only one I found. And this is by Room Essentials. It is a four pack of these peel and stick dry erase boards that you can uh, you can peel and apply to your walls or apply to like, see, they have them on the side of a storage cube here. I don't know if you can see in the picture. There we go. And they are peel and stick and it's easily removed from what I understand. I'm going to do a little test before I stick them to my wall, but I thought this was super, super cool. And uh, for only $1.25, this is a great deal. These originally, I believe, yes, came from Target. It does say on the back and it says to remove. Okay, so it is removable. Slowly peel decal from wall or surface. Okay. For best results, apply to a smooth, clean area as product may not adhere to an unclean or textured surface. Okay, so don't put it on your stucco, I guess is what they're getting at. Um, but yeah, this looks really cool and I can't wait to try it out. I think in my at-home desk area, one of these decals on the wall and a dry erase marker could be good for quick notes. Why not? Um, or one of these also, because they are removable, removable, I could put it on the wall of my cubicle at work and also have my own little dry erase board. In fact, I'm totally going to do that. That's a, I think that's a good idea. So anyway, these decals by Room Essentials, I thought that was cool. And then finally, you guys, um, I've said before that the book selection in the Chicagoland area has been kind of meh as of late, but I think we might be getting a ramp up again because I'm noticing more uh, new titles hitting the shelf, but not necessarily books I want. But that says to me, oh, I think they're getting new shipments of books in, right? But I did find this and I bought, um, I bought a total of three of this by Gretchen Rubin. It is the Happiness Project Mini Posters Coloring Book Set. Okay, and it is 20 hand lettered quotes to pull out and frame. And you guys, this is beautiful. This book is filled with, so you can actually, I don't know if you can tell right here, you can actually tear each one off if you wanted to. They are made of a thick, thick uh, cardboard, like a cardstock. That's what I wanted to say, like a thick cardstock, each quote. And it's black and white. You could keep it black and white if you wanted, or you can go ahead and color using your favorite markers, colored pencils, your praying colored pencils, if you were lucky enough to scoop those up. But let me read you some of these quotes. It's really beautiful. Um, this first one says, if you're not happy unless you think you're happy. So that's the first one. And then, oh, isn't this the truth? The days are long, but the years are short. Isn't that cool? You are a paper crafter. This is for you. Um, oh, this is so true, too. It says on here, the things that go wrong often make the best memories. I think that's beautiful. Look at the botanic kind of like palm leaf looking kind of uh, border surrounding this quote. But the things that go wrong often make the best memories. And that is true. That is true. That's so funny. That's very true. Oh, Here's one. I just, and I'm just randomly opening you guys. This one says, the only person you can change is yourself. And that is the gospel, my friends. Indeed. Indeed. Oh, here's a good one. Oh, and I love the surrounding area, the surrounding pattern around it. It says, you're unique, just like everybody else. It's a good reminder that we are all unique and wonderful human beings, but also that we all, um, you know, carry with us our unique lives and problems and trials and tribulations and all the things. So be kind to each other, right? Because we are all unique in our own way, right? Okay, and one more. This one says, accept yourself and expect from yourself. Wow, do I love that. That is awesome. And yeah, I, I think this is fabulous. I picked up uh, I picked up a total of three. I'm keeping one for me, one for perhaps a gift, and one of these perhaps for a future giveaway because I feel like this is something that I would love to share with one of you guys. So um, so yeah, I'm hoping that this means we're going to be getting uh, more books in. I wonder if I can get a quick retail price on this. Oh, I sure can. They didn't even cover it up. This was US $14.99 at one time, but I got this for five quarters for this book full of beautiful, colorable quotes. Cool. So anyway, you guys, that wraps this haul for this time. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you so much for every time that you do tune in. Take care, have a wonderful rest of your day, and I bid you peace.